Administrative Units, Program Review, the Narrative section. Okay, so now you have logged in and now you are at your home page. So when, when you uh, enter, you should be at whatever your program is. It should say, you know, admin, whatever your department is. I just chose Campus Police because that's where my mouse landed. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so go ahead and head out to the um, hamburger menu right here and you're going to go ahead and click on administrative support review narrative. So once you get into that menu, you should land on this page. Uh, first, I would like to note that um, when you click here, you should be able to see your previous campus uh, program review um, from the previous year. Um, and if you have any program assessment columns reports, you should also see them here. And you're able to move here, however um, like big or small you want that section to be. So the first thing you're going to do once you're in this menu is going to click add new and it's going to take you to this menu as you can see you can you still have those reports here if you're uh, ever in the need to look through them as you're going through here so the first thing you're going to do you're going to open up this program uh, report completion status and you are going to set it into in progress you're going to give us the date that you are working on it and any comments relating to the report status or completions for example if i'm doing this right now i'm going to write myself a note the date and the sections that i get through in case i don't get through them all um, then i would hit save and close this section up then move on to the next section the overview section here gives us three prompts uh, one asks us to look at our strength weaknesses opportunities and challenges analysis of our program the other one um, you know, it asks us for improvement or changes that we would like to see by the end of this four-year cycle. And then the final one, it asks us to develop two program goals to, that we aim to achieve over the next four years and what plans we would like to, um, we would need to implement essentially to reach these goals. So first I want to say that if you click on these little icons, um, it will give you uh, a little bit of a a hint of like what to write right so for this program um, this first prompt I'm sorry um, you know you could uh, uh, you know you could write in a brief description of any accomplishments or challenges your program has faced over the past four years right um, you could um, include things like enrollment growth improve student success um, you know challenges uh, anything that um, any actions your program has undertaken, what were the outcomes of those actions, uh, what did you learn from these experiences, how will you adjust your approach for the next four years, things like that. So then once you're done with this section, again, I click save, you know, up to you. It does auto save, but I just don't trust technology, so I'm gonna click save a million times over everything. The next section is your compliance section. This section, it first starts off with your service area outcomes, okay? So you're going to summarize how the department has utilized those uh, service area outcomes to enhance its services during the 2023-2024 uh, uh, term. So I just want to remind everyone that here are your, again, your um, uh service area outcomes as well as well as your uh, previous year's um, program review um, you know uh, how does your department implement the five caring campus behavioral commitments in practice right so just go ahead and click here if you want a review of those um, but you know just again they are here um, and it just kind of gives you a little bit of a prompt so you know um, just think of in this section in this area you know think of a uh, detailed examples of how you have integrated those five caring campus behavioral commitments into your practice right think of how they have affected your service areas current practices um, and so forth but yeah so then the next one um, you know consider uh, your adopted EMP goals what improvement plans uh, have you identified and so forth um, you know here again to respond to this question, you know, just review your EMP goals and detail your plans to connect those goals to the EMP initiatives, right? 
Um, and then again, the last thing uh, as you hear, what professional development topics, activities, or trainings would you like your department to pursue that 2024-2025 period to maintain and enhance its pursuit of excellence? So when you are doing this section specifically, um, just consider your uh, your service area outcomes uh, and your results, right? As you are evaluating those needs for professional development, what opportunities for improvements already exist that can be addressed with some training and development, right? And you can select um, all that apply, right? So if you're like, oh, what this, 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 you can select them all if that's what you would like. Um, so once you're done with this section, you're gonna go ahead and close it up open up the next one and then this is your uh, resource management and continuous improvement um, here you know um, it asks you if you have received received any uh, funds any augmentation in funds um, in the previous cycle if so um, you know um, you know for this current year or the previous year you know if you indicate yes or no um, what have you done with those, uh, right? If you receive those fundings, um, what? How have you used them? Um, if you use them, and you know, like, evaluate how these funds actually promoted that student success or the advancement of your program. Um, it's important for the campus to understand how these funds actually benefit or affected your program, right? So, where uh, were the funds critical? Of critical need how did they impact how did they improve that department or service area and then the last thing here that we have is the reflection and extenuating um, circumstances so this area um, you know it, it is an optional prompt but it allows you to introduce any other issues uh, or factors um, which may have not been addressed or as previously in the report so if there is anything else that you would like uh you know the reviewers to consider this is like the time and the place to do so especially if you've already finished a completing your entire program review and you're like you know what i have this one thing this one thought um this one problem that just was not addressed like, this is the place to put it in so once you're done with this again you're going to go ahead and click save and then you're going to go back up here um, once you are done with your program annual planning and augmentation section and if it's a data anal analysis uh, review year um, or if your program actually reviews data um, so once you're done with those areas you're going to come back here and you're going to select if you want to send it to peer technical review if you are within that deadline you're going to select that and then hit save or if you are completely done with those other areas I just uh, showed you and you are like I'm good I'm ready to submit my program review then you're gonna select that one and click save and that should be it that should be your submission but otherwise if this is the only area you have completed you're gonna leave it here for now you're gonna hit save and you are done with this section